Welcome to another edition of Papa Bojo's Kitchen. Well, as you can see, I'm sporting my gift from Romeo High School. They gave me um, one of the chef coats that I used while I was teaching culinary. I'll be speaking about that in another video. But until then, what we're going to make today is sweet and sour chicken. Now, you're going to want to make rice ahead of time, but this is my recipe for sweet and sour chicken. I hope you like it. Here are your ingredients. Now here are the steps of making this great Chinese American dish. You're gonna thinly slice your carrots, chop your green pepper, onions, and pineapples in bite-sized pieces. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to clean up your chicken. That means take all the pieces of fat off. Once you have it cleaned up, then you're gonna start cubing it into about one inch pieces. Sprinkle in your baking soda and massage this into the meat and let it set for 20 minutes. To make the batter for the chicken, I'm gonna take my flour, my baking powder, my baking soda, my cornstarch. I'm going to add my sesame oil to my water. I'm gonna whisk this all together. And you can see this becomes like a pancake batter. After 20 minutes, we're gonna rinse this really well. We're gonna put this on a plate and then we're gonna pat dry it really well. To make your sweet and sour sauce, you're gonna add in your apple cider vinegar. your pineapple juice, orange juice, and all of your sugar into a pot. And you're gonna stir this until the sugar completely melts. Once your sugar has melted, you're going to add in all of your cornstarch. And you're gonna vigorously stir this in. Once the cornstarch has been added, you're gonna add in pineapple, the green pepper, your carrots, and you're gonna stir all of these in. Now you're gonna bring this to a boil and let it thicken. Once it comes to a complete boil, you can see it's thickening up. At that point, you can turn it off and set it aside. As we heat up our oil to 350, we're going to take our chicken and we're going to drop it in our batter. Then we're going to mix all of our chicken in our batter. Once your temperature reaches 350, you're going to drop your chicken pieces into the batter. You're going to cook them until they're golden brown. Continue cooking these until the internal temperature is at least 165. Once they reach at least 165, you're going to take them out. You're going to put them on paper towel. And you're going to continue this until they're all done. And then you'll be ready for plating. To plate this, I'm going to take some of this rice. You can use whatever rice you like. We like basmati rice. So I'm going to give me a nice little mound of rice here on one side of the plate. Then I'm going to add, oh, several pieces of this great chicken that we made. This breading is fantastic. It's simple to make. And um, if you want to give it a try, please do so. It's a lot easier than you might think. And now some of the sweet and sour sauce. This is really sweet. If you're making it and you want to add a little more color and a little more depth of flavor, you can add a little tomato paste to this. Um, I like it just like this. This reminds me of a place we used to go to in St. Clair Shores called Canton Inn. It's the same, almost identical sauce that they had. And that's pretty much it. This is 
Papa Bojo's Kitchen's Sweet and Sour Chicken. I'll bring it over. You can take a good look at it. And I'll obviously put some pictures in the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this video of Papa Bojo's Kitchen. I hope you'll come and see me again. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great day. Buon appetito. Bye.